Good morning, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome to June 25th. And uh, are we streaming through this, no pun intended, month faster than a speeding bullet? Maybe more powerful than a locomotive? Yeah, it's NCTV 45 The Train coming right at you with Newswatch, letting you know the news views, what's happening in Newcastle, Lawrence County, keeping you informed anytime on your time. It's NCTV45. And, uh, hey, let's get started with Newswatch Morning Edition. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence, NCTV 45. Trusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle, on Kennedy Square. Funding of this program. Butts Flowers, downtown Newcastle. Hey, good morning, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome to Morning News Watch, June 25th, and, um, geez, I don't, I can't tell you when I could remember a month just absolutely flying by as fast as this one is, uh, I hate to bring up kind of like the bad news, but uh, you you realize that we're working on uh, a week and two days, and we're at the 4th of July, and a lot of people say, oh, that's halfway through the summer, so uh, I don't know, and that, it's just wild to me. And um, right now, hopefully, as I make my way to get everything situated, you have that first cup of coffee, and I'm going to take a sip, guys. As uh, we crawl through this morning news watch together, 66 degrees outside. After you wiped away the rain from last night, uh, it wasn't too bad of a night. As, um, you know, we're always up bright and early. And um, it just seemed excellent. Let's, uh, let's get to the top stories today. And first of all, uh, streaming at the top of your screen. Food and fun, that's going on, and you can see it right up there as um, they get under 18 free and reduced lunch. This will give them something during the summer 
so we make sure that that gets out there Newcastle reunion and uh, this just came in Saturday June 29th event they say bring their culinary business uh, and entrepreneurship Sean Carter Rocco Coza Brian Kubelis three full-blooded Newcastle natives bring their culinary business and entrepreneur ventures to vent they say with caterers table serving from Sean's experience of catering uh, this will take place at 4 p.m. and you know vent they say what a nice place especially now that we have the opportunity to enjoy it I mean after all that rain at the beginning of the month we I mean we got out of school what the seventh okay and you're looking at the next 10 days uh, okay where you had rain I'm a member of Pearson and um, I believe I've only been there four times to swim this month which is really kind of on the light side you know with all the rain it just um, unbelievable now um, that being said today and, and you know I did an editorial last night the editorial was twofold okay and I'm not going to get into all that um, kind of crap but you know the bottom line of the whole editorial really wasn't just me being attacked personally which was done okay but it was about coming together as a community okay and I realize we're gonna have this merger with uh, the Catholic Church now whether we want it or not it's happening you know there there's some things in life that maybe you don't want but you have to live with I love being in Newcastle being able to get up say hello to people talk to them and you know <laughs> as long as you're doing basic Italian food stuff uh, they're the nicest, nicest people in the world I can't imagine anybody walking down the street on the North Hill the East Side and seeing somebody and not getting anything to eat it will be like oh sit down come on have a cup of coffee and some cookies let's let's talk so with that and with these mergers comes the idea of the parish ladies guild and you know you got a ladies guild here there and well they got to merge now uh, the ladies guild of St. Vitus will meet Tuesday the June 25th and we will meet at St. Vincent de Paul at 630 for the end of the season very informative meeting dessert will be provided for further info call Sandy at 724-657-0138 or Carol at 724-944-4929 it, it's something that could be the coming together and the meshing and in this I don't think you have to lose your Italianness, but you're going to gain friends that's going to be a, a very important thing and um, I think it's very very important now uh, read learn and grow now there's another thing that's important you know, 
we were just having this conversation while I was having coffee with my friends. Come on, folks. Well, how much time are you spending with your kid? Are, are you ever saying, who was George Washington? What was in this book? Let's read this. This is great. Let's try this. No. If you're not, guess who's losing out? You and your kids. Because they're not going to have any memories. And you're not doing them any service by not participating. Read, Learn, and Grow out at Apple Castle is one of those great memory makers. It takes place on Wednesday. Now you have to call for reservations. And uh, pigs is the theme this week. And um, they have an interactive story time on the farm. And this is from 9 to 11.30. A new group starts every 15 minutes. During this approximate, it's a 45 minutes. Children listen to a story, take a tractor ride. Okay. And um, they uh, return for a fun game. The program is designed for preschool children. Uh, and... Uh, this is just a great time, but find all ages have seemed to have fun. So if you have that, you know, one kid's like four, but the other one's like eight, it'll take them all, share it. Now it takes place on Wednesdays. But they ask that you call for reservation 724-652-3221 and uh, the reservations very, very important because they get a lot of folks. Now, um, we're going to take this break and go to sports and, uh, well, how about sports? The Buccos, they celebrated yesterday. They took the day off, you know. They won 11-10 on Sunday, and they, they weren't going to do anything. Now, Cleveland, on the other hand, they were taking on Kansas, Kansas City, and they won 3-2-10. and 10. Boston, 6-5 winner, and the Dodgers dropped it to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now, um, let's see what else is going on in the Cedar Sports Corner. program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens and many challenging shots your crowd will applaud a short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood and Youngstown it's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania Hello and welcome right now to the Cedar Sports Corner and Major League Baseball taking center stage and let's get right to your matchups Pittsburgh Pirates visit Houston while Cleveland's at home against Kansas City elsewhere 
You've got Toronto at the New York Yankees. The Phillies, they're at they're, the Phillies are at home against the Mets. San Diego's at Baltimore. Chicago's at Boston. Now, after that, and I told you Kansas City, why they're at Cleveland. So, that brings us to the afternoon games. And uh, Chicago, they're at Boston. Later on in the evening, you'll see the Dodgers take on Arizona. Colorado take on San Francisco. And Cincinnati take on the Angels. This was the Sears Sports Corner Report. And we're going to take this break. And we'll be right back after this timeout. This program brought to you by Cummings Landscaping and Design. Brandon Cummings, lower operator. Penn, Ohio Bottled Water Company, home residential commercial water coolers. You can contact us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. We're fast, efficient, and we deliver water. We offer 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. Contact us today at 724-498-4760. We're back, and uh, some interesting stuff in from the state, and uh, I, I probably can't say this too much as, um, you know, people fall for skims, and I guess, you know, it's kind of easy. You know, somebody calls, oh, I'm from the state. You know, you th the first thing you want to do is get it resolved, okay? But no, that the state isn't going to call and say, you've been approved for your uh, rent rebate and property tax rebate, and by the way, give us your banking information. They're not going to do unsolicited calls. And um, a lot of times, people don't realize that, okay? And it's unfortunate. These people get sucked in, and pretty soon, you're, there's a problem with your bank account. Well... Dan Hassel, Secretary of Revenue, wants everybody to know that the Department of Revenue isn't going to make unsolicited phone calls. They're not going to say, hey, you've been approved, what's your bank account? It's a scam. If it happens, okay, report it immediately. Try to have the phone number and also important uh, I mean I can't tell you how uh, how bad that is to have something like that going on now um, I want to just check out Ed Yoren and uh, baseball as um, 
We haven't been able to get a North County game on for you because of the weather. And um, we will keep trying. In the days to come, I'm going to put out, I already did yesterday, Newcastle Fund football team is trying an online fundraiser. Okay. If you get a, a thing from them, it's fundraisers. It, snap raise.com slash fundraisers Newcastle football. Okay. They're trying to raise money online so you're not buying all those goofy things. Even if you give them just a couple dollars. Five bucks, a dollar, whatever. I don't know. That'll get them closer to their goal. And imagine if everybody in the city just gave one dollar. It'd make, uh, it'd be like the old days, you know? So help out the Newcastle football team. If you get that email, that's what's going on with that. Now, we're going to take this break, and we're going to go to weather, and uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the skies, we've, we've got a wind coming from the southwest at about six miles an hour. You can see the clouds moving, and uh, it's 66, and I'm going to say sunny degrees because I see a lot more blue than anything. So let's find out what we got in store for us as far as weather, and then we'll be right back. Of course, in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens, and many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724 654 0365. Hello and welcome once again to Lawrence County 45 weather and uh, well. After last night's scattered rainfall and that low of 66, maybe you got your kicks. <laughs> but little little joke there for those of a older group. And uh, let's look at radar. Clear off to our west, and on the national scene, you see that also. So that can mean one thing, and only one thing, sunshine. Now, the sunshine is going to go all week, so let's love it. This is what it's going to be, Tuesday, sunny 77. Tuesday night, partly cloudy 63. Wednesday, mostly sunny and 81. Wednesday night, partly cloudy and 64. Thursday, sunny and 84 Thursday night partly cloudy with a low of 61 Friday mostly sunny and 85 Friday night partly cloudy with a low of 66 Saturday sunshine 82 and then there's a slight chance of rain but Saturday night mostly cloudy 62 
and then Sunday sunny with a high of 79 that was Lawrence County 45 weather here's hoping you get out and enjoy and uh, well we're going to be right back after we hear from these great sponsors Standing by my today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450 Newcastle's community television station Nico and Sons sells and service 347 East Washington Street Newcastle has lawnmowers of every type zero turn country clippers made in the USA 42 inch to 54 inch cut batteries by Oregon they'll service at your home or their shop Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim Micko and Sons, 724-652-69. Vinte Say in Newcastle is a premier winery located on Newcastle's southeast side on Wilson Avenue. Vinte Say open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Features a variety of fine wines and also fine food. Vinte say for the very best. Funding for this program furnished by Mary's Turner's Day Spa. Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township, Newcastle. Newcastle's Brothers Market, where you can get a money order, transfer money, pay bills, and play the lotto too. There's milk, juice, pop, and more. Yes, at two convenient locations, 1308 West State Street and 835 Moravia Street in Newcastle, where your business is always appreciated. Brothers Market the market just right for you. Well, we're cruising along with Newswatch and um, this weekend, get ready for the Elwood City Festival. Yeah, you know, New Galilee kind of fooled us and we announced that last night as they had theirs on the 22nd we were told it was scheduled for the 26th well don't miss this one down in Elwood City they have a great time I often go down for the fireworks and everything else I just I love Elwood uh, it's a great place now uh, 11 to 10 p.m. the festival will run Friday through Sunday more than 200 art and crab booths food music entertainment great fun for the entire family and um, Americana festivals uh, that's gonna take place on Saturday and I'll make sure I tell you about that. But uh, right in Ewing Park, it's a, it's it's phenomenal. And then Helen Stadium, they shoot the fireworks. You can sit in the stadium and watch the fireworks. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you if you haven't experienced the Elwood Festival, and hey, why not drive around? You know, they had donut days out there. They had the the New Galilee. Um, uh, festival down there Elwood's having theirs you can move around and have such a great time it'll be absolutely phenomenal and um, just enjoy now a um, couple other things before we get to um, 
remember we told you about the car cruise every Thursday from 5 to 9 the car cruise at uh, town and country watch for that we'll be telling you more um, they're going to be starting to get ready to uh, last night you had to get your clearances they're going to be starting to get ready to roll meatballs pill egg plants and do all that stuff to get ready for the festival Holy Spirit Festival the first festival for Holy Spirit Parish and a great coming together people are going to love it and um, I think that's something to take a look at now um, once again streaming at the top of your screen food and fun under 18 hungry that's where you get Breakfast, snack, lunch, it scrolls right there. Now, uh, let's hear from these sponsors, and we'll be right back. There's more than me. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program, located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Well, we're back, and um, as we roll through this day together, and um, I've only got to tell you that, <laughs> hey, there's a lot of great things going on, a lot of great people in Newcastle. Make sure that uh, you have a great day in Newcastle, Lawrence County. And make sure that you tell a friend. And have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And when they say, oh, I don't watch a lot of TV, Yes, you tell them NCTV45. We're available anytime on your time. A train that runs on your schedule, that's NCTV45. Always in the pursuit of excellence. NCTV45 in Newcastle. Newcastle's community television station. Keeping you informed and entertained. And sometimes surprised. <laughs> so, uh, hey, it's uh, right now sunny skies. I guess we got some clouds. 66 degrees in Newcastle. And uh, that's going to do it for, yeah, you got it, the uh, morning news watch. And, um, so here's hoping you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again real soon.